I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. LSU is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Quick pass. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. Scrambling. Nix only gets about a yard there on the quarterback scramble. Marshall to punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 36. Chase is on full display here for the first time, and it's going to be interesting to see what this defense has got in store for him as he's playing in front of a hostile crowd here. A tough crowd and, and a defense that's determined to take him out of the game. They're going to line up. They're going to challenge him physically at the line of scrimmage. There are going to be a lot of times two different players aligned to be able to take him out of the game. So I think it's one thing to ask this young man as a receiver to make plays, but at some point there's going to have to be some other players on this offense step up and help him out. run to the left there so the option keeper will get him a first down it's a very well executed option play the blocking was there and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down they'll knock him down for a loss their own 47 yard line second down they'll bring him down for a loss on the play on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. big loss on the play and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here perhaps run a screen maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern this D line is just a bit much to handle at this moment second down and 14 ball on their own 16 and a quick throw and down he goes to 37 yard line a quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. You know, sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option, and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on him. Second and long. Ball on the 33-yard line. 
Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's taken down around the 40 yard line. He scrambled. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 35. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Run left side. He gets hit out of bounds at the 39. That makes it second and six. Nice run, and he's brought down. Run right side. It's a fumble. Scoops it up. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. He knows how to run. Makes it out to about the 29. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a four. That'll make it second and seven. Makes it to the 12-yard line. Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. The Tigers running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. So at the end of one quarter, this one's scoreless. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we're dead even. LSU is looking to go up by three. Kicks up. And they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes.
Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Brought down around the 32-yard line. No gain. That makes us third and three. to the 40, and they make the stop right around the 40. Complete. Really a nicely thrown ball, and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Almost had it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down again. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle around the 42-yard line. They'll get him in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it, and they got him for a loss. That'll make it third and 13. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Three down, three down. 35 to Mike. And he's immediately tackled. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three, three time. Auburn is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets to about the 27-yard line. They'll go with the run once again. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six on the play. Third down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Hands off and not much room there as they try to work the left side. That makes it 37. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. 
They're really getting after the quarterback now. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 29. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's out of bounds around the 36-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. at the 46-yard line. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. That makes it second and two. Pressure coming. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Deep, lays it out there, and he's got it, going the other way now. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First down. This is a scary spot deep in their own territory. He gets out to about the six-yard line. He's on the run. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. Palmer picks him up about three yards with the catch. They've done a great job on this drive with the underneath pass. The quarterback isn't forcing the ball, and you can see how effective he is. He's at the 40. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. To the 20. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. He hits the PAT. We've played a half of football here. Auburn's lead is a touchdown.
All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. Curry takes it left, and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Throws complete, he's got space to work, and he tackles him hard at the 43-yard line. Number six makes the set at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 39. He's scrambling. Brought down around the 44-yard line. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Booming kick. He's pushed out of bounds around the 28-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Auburn is up seven. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Complete and he's hit hard. He throws left and it's picked off. It's the safety and he hits him hard at the 32 yard line. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. First down. And he's sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. is out to the tailback on the screen. Maybe a yard 
that time on the screen. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. He sails it long. Finds the junior to the 20. That's a great tackle at the four. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. So a five-play, 67-yard drive, and they put up seven points. LSU ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 36-yard line. Mike 35, Mike 35. Watch the run, watch the run. Let's go, go. And he's stopped behind the line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis which is exactly what he did on that play. Three down, three down. 35 to Mike. Go! Go! Nice catch, first down. He's knocked out. run up the middle. Takes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. Third down. He's tackled around the 11 yard line. Call it a game of two yards. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Auburn could take the lead with this field goal. It's up and it's through the uprights. Carlson has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. 
Nice run to the left there. So at the end of the third quarter, the Tigers in front, 13-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Tackle at the 29-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 29-yard line, third down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle made at the 30. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's taken down at the 33. Kirk, I gotta ask you, are these two offenses that anemic or are the defenses that good? I think it's a combination of both. I think both of these offenses have shown at times an ability to execute and put points on the board, but they're playing against two really good defenses. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Auburn holds a field goal lead. Catches it, and he's level at the 40. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 43. Gets out to around the 35. That makes it second and two. Slings it. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. And he is drilled at the 23. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Come on, D. Just under three to go in regulation. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Two minutes left in the ball game. The kick is up, and it's good! And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 16-10, Auburn. 
He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. LSU staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. And down he goes at the 34. That's good for the he unloads it. Intercepted. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. And he's taken down at the 50. The back gets three on the carry. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's taken down at the 27. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Tigers with the win. 16-10. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Well, this one really could have gone either way. LSU had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.